Now, I'm going to read the story again for you for the second time. I want you to listen carefully and I want you to think about this story as I am reading. I will also be thinking with you. Okay. Sonto had waited for months for her family's beach day to finally come. It would be her first time to see the ocean. Sonto was so curious about the sea. She was curious about how the sea would smell. She was curious about how the sand would feel between her toes. She was curious about how it would feel to swim in the big waves. Today was finally the day she would find out. Sonto is curious in so many ways. I wonder why. I think it's because maybe she's never been to the sea. In the early morning, her family took their bags, which were all packed with snacks and towels, and they walked to the taxi rank. They found the taxi going to the beach and hopped in. It only took a few minutes to fill with other passengers. Then they were on their way. Sonto must not leave far from the beach then if she only had to take a taxi. She didn't need to take a bus or an airplane. I guess she stays close to the beach. When they finally arrived at the beach, Sonto couldn't believe her eyes. She hadn't expected the sea to look so big. It went on forever and ever. She took a deep breath in and smelled the salty sea. She dug her feet into the sand and felt the soft sand around her feet. I love the beach, Sonto thought. Sonto was curious about how the sea would look like. Now she was there. Now she knows that it smells salty and the sand is soft. Hmm. Sonto watched the big waves crash against the shore. She still felt curious about how it would feel to swim in the big waves. She helped her parents lay out the towels. Then she ran towards the big waves. She felt afraid, but her excitement also made her feel brave. She swam deeper and deeper into the sea. I love swimming in the waves, Sonto thought. Hmm, Sonto is a little bit scared of the waves, but she's more excited than afraid. And she's excited to go and Try out and swim in the big waves. But Sonto's thoughts were interrupted by a loud whistle. <whistles> Sonto swam closer towards the shore. She saw the lifeguard calling the swimmers out of the water. Then she heard a loud siren. People were rushing out of the water. I wonder what is wrong, she thought. Sonto quickly followed everyone onto the beach. I wonder what is wrong. I wonder why is everyone getting out of the water. She went and got her towel. She noticed people pointing at the sea. What do they see? Sonto asked her mother. Then she saw it. A big grey fin. I was almost shot prey, she said laughing. Don't laugh, said her mother, looking afraid. Sharks are dangerous. You could have been attacked. Hmm. Oh, there's a big gray fin in the water. 
everyone must have thought that it was of a shock. Sonto heard the whistle blow again. Swimmers and surfers were getting back into the water. Sonto looked for the big grey fin, but she didn't see it. Instead, she saw a dolphin jumping in the waves. Sonto began to laugh. That wasn't a shark fin. It was only a silly dolphin fin, she said. She ran back towards the water. Be careful, Sonto's mother yelled. Next time, it might really be a shark. Oh, it wasn't a scary shark after all. It was just a dolphin. Everyone saw a, just a dolphin fin. Now, children, did you listen to the story? Were you thinking with me? Did you see me think about the story? Yes.